Part 9. We are going to continue with finding the equation of a straight line. You will find this on page 148 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook y equals mx plus c to success. We are going to focus on finding the equation of a straight line if the gradient and one point is given. Okay, let's look at example 12. Find the equation of a straight line with a gradient of a half and which passes through the point 0 and negative 1. So, first write down your formula, your general formula of a straight line. y equals mx plus c. Then, substitute the gradient. Remember, the gradient is represented by the letter m. So, in the place of m, substitute a half. Okay, then, substitute your point. Just remember, this is your x and this is your y. So in the place of y, I substitute negative 1. In the place of x, I substitute 0. And then I work it out, and I will get that the value of c is negative 1. So y equals a half x minus 1. That will be your equation. Okay. Just move it. I want you to do try now 12, number 1, and number 2. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 12, and we're going to start with number 1. Okay, find the equation of the straight line with a gradient of a half and which passes through the point negative 2 and negative 3. Okay, so first the value of m will be a half. Write down the general formula of a straight line. Now, substitute in the place of m a half. Now, take your coordinate point and substitute it in that equation. Just remember, this is your x and this is your y. So, in the place of y, it will be negative 3. Do you see it? In the place of x, it will be negative 2 plus c. And now just solve your equation. So just rewrite. A half times negative 2, you can do it on a calculator. Or you can say, put it over 1, negative 2 over 2, but that will be negative 1. Now solve your equation. If To cancel this negative 1, I add 1 on both sides. And then the value of c will be negative 2. So what will be my equation? Therefore, y equals substitute your gradient and substitute your value of c. And that will be the equation of the straight line. Okay, let's do number 2. Let's just make space. Okay, so it's again try now 12. And that's going to be number 2. Find the y-intercept of the line which passed through the point 2, negative 2 and 3 and has a gradient of negative 1. Now, just mark. They, they don't ask the equation like in the previous one. They just ask the y-intercept. But my method will be the same. Now, what is the gradient? The gradient will be negative 1. Write down your general formula. mx plus c. Substitute the gradient. Take your coordinate point. And also substitute. Just remember this is x and this is y. So in the place of y, I will substitute 3. And in the place of x, I will substitute negative 2. So solve your equation. A negative times a negative is a positive 2 plus c. So this one to, sub to um, solve the equation I subtract 2 on both sides. So if it comes over it's minus 2 equals c and your value of c will be 1. Now remember the question. Find the y-intercept. So therefore the y-intercept is equal to 1. Okay. Now the last thing we are going to do on this straight lines we're just going to focus on parallel and perpendicular straight lines. Now, parallel lines 
the gradients will be equal. Can you see this line is parallel to this line? Look at the gradient. This is 2x. This is also 2x. So the gradients are equal. Perpendicular lines cutting with 90 degrees. Now look, the one gradient will be neg negative 2 over 3. Then the other gradient will be positive 3 over 2. So it's basically the reciprocal, but it's also with different signs. So if the one is negative, the other one is positive. And if I multiply that, I will come to an answer of negative 1. Can I just show you? So if I say 3 over 2, multiply negative 2 over 3, then a positive times, it's a negative, this cancel, this cancel, and it's just negative 1. Okay, I want you again to do try now 13, just number 1, and just number 3. Again, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 13. Let's start with number 1. Determine whether the following lines are parallel or perpendicular. Remember, parallel, gradients are equal. Perpendicular, reciprocal, different signs. Okay, so if you look just at the value of M, 2 and 2, definitely number A will be what? Parallel lines. Number B, negative 3 over 2, positive 2 over 3. Reciprocals, different signs. So, perpendicular lines. Number C. Now, this is positive 1, that's negative 1. So, because it's 1 over 1, if you find the reciprocal, it's still 1 over 1, but the signs are different. So, if you substitute, you will get negative 1. So, it's also perpendicular lines. Maybe you can just put this in and this just for mathematical sake. So say M1 equals M2. Okay. And in this case, say M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. That's the reason. M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. Okay. And then number 3. Let's just read number 3. The last one. Uh, find the equation of the straight line parallel to this line which cut the y-axis at negative 2. Now stop there. If it cuts the y-axis, it doesn't matter, but it cuts at negative 2, there at negative 2, what will be the coordinate? Now, the x value there will be 0. So very important. You must write down the coordinate. The coordinate will be 0 and negative 2. So that is the point. Now, let's find the value of m. So if I look at this, Okay, let's, this line, I call it your help line. It's not the line you must find. It's just helping you to find the gradient. Now, this stands for 1. So I say the equation of parallel. So what does parallel mean? The gradients will be equal. So what is this gradient? This gradient will be 1 over 2, the value in front of x. So what will be your gradient of your second line if it's parallel? Also 1 over 2. So basically, I will just start by saying, first my general equation, then substitute your gradient, which is a half, then substitute your point, which will be 0, 0, and negative 2. Okay, so remember this is x, this is y. So in the place of y, I put negative 2. And in the place of x, I put 0. And then it's negative 2, and a half times it's 0 plus c. So the value of c will be negative 2. What are they asking? Find the equation. So therefore, the equation will be y equals, what is the gradient? A half x, or x over 2, it doesn't matter, minus 2. And that will be the equation of my line.